Previously on the Sir Sloth channel, the zombie unicorn on Twitter tweeted out TW colon rape. Seeing so many brave women come forward with their stories, I finally realized my own story of sexual abuse that I'd long passed off as him just being a dick. I'm gonna get off of you. Um, and he held me down, physically forced me down, and so that I could not get off of him. Um, and I, I smacked him and I said, No, stop. And I got off of him. Now, I have some points I do want to make on this tweet right here, but that's not the main point of this video. After Tom does respond, I do plan on making a separate video on this situation in and of itself. Today is June 24th, 2020 at the time I'm recording this. This video has been done with a few hours of research and also a few hours of compiling pieces together. I would say in total, just with the planning of this video, we've been spending over a day planning this out, getting all the pieces and everything we need. This isn't no Gokunaru shit where it took over a hundred hours of editing and research and stuff like that, but this well did take over two days to compile because this video is going to be out on June 26th. As I did say, today is June 24th, 2020, and as of 2.10 p.m., Mr. Tom Syndicate has released his statement about the allegations made against him. We are going to read this together because this is a story I am very invested in. Statement from Tom Cassell. I was shocked and sickened by the false allegations made against me on Sunday by two women and once called friends. I promised I would respond, and now I want people to know the truth. Let me start by saying I stand by and fully support the women who are courageous enough to speak up because they have been raped or sexually abused. The Me Too movement has empowered victims and that is such an important, necessary, and valuable thing. But this is something completely different. This is character assassination by social media without evidence to support it or any justification. These two women have chosen to make horrendous allegations against me for reasons I do not understand, attempting to stage a public trial without giving me a chance to defend myself. I do not want to get personal. I simply want to stick to the facts. I had consensual sex with Natalie Casanova in 2016. I did not pin her down. I did not use any force against her. I did not rape her. We discussed it and both agreed as a precaution that she would take the morning after pill, which is what happened. This was a decision we both made together. It was not one-sided or forced. I was in a relationship with Caitlin Witcher in 2012 when we both were teenagers and I loved her very much. We never had a full sexual relationship because she made it clear that was not what she wanted and I respected that. The allegations she made against me are completely false. I know she has been through some tough times in her life and always considered her to be a good person, but these claims she made against me are entirely wrong. I have nothing but sympathy for victims of sexual and physical abuse. I share in their rage and I want abusers called out and held accountable. But when you are falsely accused of being an abuser, you cannot just sit back and accept the incorrect allegations being made against you. You have to tell the truth and hope that all people people will listen, which is what I'm doing now. I understand that asserting my innocence will be difficult for some, and I apologize if this is a trigger for anybody who is a victim of abuse. I wish both Natalie and Caitlin no ill will, but I also hope you understand that I cannot allow false and deeply damaging stories to circulate about me without responding. That is possibly the best statement that Syndicate could have come out with. That was perfect, and it was a beautifully said thing. This tweet in six hours has over 65,000 likes and 7,500 retweets and comments because this is amazing, and people are starting to see right through what happened. I found this tweet the day I posted my other video, but I think that this tweet should have been used now and not then. Mr. Ray Guns 
retweeted. Won't say Zombie Unicorn is lying, because if she's telling the truth, then fuck Syndicate. But she has a long track record of BS. We need facts and evidence. Can't condemn Tom if we don't know anything. That's just fucked up. I completely agree with the statement. You cannot condemn someone for a crime when there is no evidence or sufficient evidence or concrete evidence to back it up. I also decided to do my homework based upon this and check exactly, you know, what BS has Zombie Unicorn pulled in the past. I was directed over to the Quarterings Reddit and someone asked, I'm lazy and don't know who Zombie Unicorn is. Can someone please give me a TLDR? Someone responded saying, she was involved in the uber hilarious bully hunters fiasco meant to curb online bullying in video games. All the SJWs, people who don't play, loved the idea, but real gamers hated it and found it to be cringe. After this, everyone hated Zombie Unicorn. Zombie Unicorn sexualizes herself for her fans so that she can make money. Now she is calling out women dancing who are sexualizing themselves. It's hypocrisy at its finest. I also noticed on this little subreddit that there was something from 11 months ago. She won't apologize because in her mind, she is 100% right no matter what. She actively blocks anyone. He even slightly disagrees with her. Even if they try to be respectful in their opinion, Angry Joe replied to her and talked about it on his YouTube channel. Just another Twitch that looking to make money from horny 12 year olds. I mean, yeah, if you look online just of pictures of her, there's just a bunch of Playboy pictures. There was also a tweet that I found, but I was like, you know what? We should save it by at underscore fishy. Tom Syndicate is facing rape allegations. There isn't any incriminating evidence. The girl in question, Zombie Unicorn, posted this screenshot trying to prove he raped her. There is nothing here that's incriminating against him. Luckily for you, I have all this information saved because I knew we were gonna need it in the future. This is a Facebook message private conversation between Natalie Casanova and Tom Cassell, as we can say. The day is March 30th, 2016, and it is 5.42 a.m. Y'all need to be asleep at that time, jeez. I go to bed then. Hey, I forgot you were in the UK, but... Why, lol? I texted you good news, as in no babies, so we good, fam. Don't have my US phone with me, homie. Yeah, just figured. Then the news is good news. Hey, lol. But I just thought you should know. Sight, I have AIDS. That's a joke. There is no concrete proof of any rape taking place. What there is proof of is what Tom said in his addressing, that there was sexual intercourse between the two of them. But there is no concrete proof that a rape took place. Place, 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 place. Hey, Daddy, can you tell me a story? Why, sure, son. I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you the story of how Tom Syndicate or the Syndicate Project was falsely accused of rape by two women on the internet. And now, everyone, it is time for me to tell you a tale. A story that one day will be told to Baby Sloth and all of his friends. It is time for the tale. It all started on June 21st, 2020. 11.06 p.m. Fishy tweeted out, Zombie Unicorn claimed that Tom Syndicate lied about having condoms and that he held her down to come inside her, forcing her to take plan B. I'm going to break this down the way I see it. Having little to no knowledge of the situation at all, I can say that is not rape. You gave full consent to the sexual act on the grounds there would be protection for you and Tom. I have heard many people say, if she said no, he would have hit her. It may sound bad, but let him. Once he hits you, it's over. You are living evidence of that person's abuse and they can go to jail. Women can fight back, but at times, it seems like they forget that. On the subject of her plan B, 
She claims in the video and in her tweet that Plan B gives her extreme side effects. But in the Facebook messages the next day, she says, We good, fam. If the side effects are that bad and he raped you, why are you good, fam? She says in the video that on the night that she gave consent to have sex with him with no protection as long as he pulled out, she claims he said he was about to come. But when she tried to get off of him, he held her down and came inside her. She then slapped him. After this occurred, she claimed she ran into the bathroom and found condoms and realized he lied. She brings up multiple times that because of his position and power and money, she had to stay silent and continue to work with him. She worked with him on a YouTube project known as Legends of Gaming. She said the next day she had to go and shoot the next video with him and that because of his position and power and money. She didn't say anything or do anything. She worked on Legends of Gaming with Syndicate. She had her own YouTube at the time of the incident. There was no reason for her to stay around these people who she believed to be protecting him. Granted, it's not easy to leave, but it doesn't seem like she tried. There were little to no tears shed, no bloodshot eyes, or even a stuffy nose. She seems unbothered in the slightest. I know people who experience this kind of stuff. They cry anytime they even think about it, let alone talk about it. He also took pictures slash videos of me naked and said, Sent them to his friends without my consent or knowledge and only found out because he bragged about showing me off to his mates after he did it. Where is the evidence of this allegation that you are throwing on top of the precious one? There are allegations being thrown around without any solid evidence. Only evidence provided thus far has been word of mouth by you and one other Twitter video that I have yet to see and a Facebook DM that claims it to be all good. Since this is the internet, People just jump onto whatever side of the story sounds the worst and whatever side comes out first. In this case, the internet is defending Zombie and attacking Tom. Tom stated on Twitter earlier today, I want to address every single thing that's been said. I will be making a statement regarding all the false allegations in the following days. Until then, I'm simply in the middle and just giving my opinion on it. As this is all a personal opinion on the situation, and I appreciate your respect towards what I have to say. If I have supplied any misleading information, false information, please DM me and I will be sure to try and correct myself with proper facts. Thank you. She was never DM'd. Here is the bottom line. There is no concrete evidence or proof that any rape has occurred. There is no proof that Tom Cassell ever raped the zombie unicorn. There is no proof that Syndicate raped Caitlyn Witcher. There is no proof of anything. If there were proof, this would be an entirely different story. Saying that you have proof and just showing a Facebook message that shows that you two had sex is not proof. Everyone needs to realize there is no proof that can say that Syndicate is guilty of rape because he is not. Syndicate is being falsely accused. If you look at in the eyes of evidence and in the eyes of facts, he is being falsely accused. Now here's the thing. In my head, I go by facts, I go by logic. And because of the evidence, which there is the lack of evidence, and because of the facts, he is being falsely accused. If I go by my heart, I don't know where I stand on it. Maybe something did happen. And there just, there really is no proof other than someone speaking out. Maybe Zombie Unicorn was raped. Maybe Caitlyn was raped. But as of now and forever, there will never be any proof that proves that they were raped. As me, I stick on the side of logic and I declare that they were not raped and that this was somewhat of a publicity stunt to grow themselves. More on Zombie Unicorn's part, but I think Caitlyn was just trying to possibly get back at Tom. Do I believe that something happened in both of their past together with Tom and Zombie Unicorn and Tom and Caitlyn? Yes, I believe something bad happened in which this was then sparked. But I do not believe that Tom ever committed any type of sexual assault, rape, or sexual abuse towards either of these women. If there is something that I got wrong in this video and you have concrete evidence to show me that I am wrong, please feel free to go down below, go to my Twitter, shoot me a follow, and DM me so we can discuss the situation and I can try to fix anything that I said falsely. But as of now, this is the truth. Syndicate was falsely accused of rape, and it's the bottom line. By the lack of evidence and by the facts, he was falsely accused of rape. To everyone out there who may think differently than me and thinks that no, these girls are right, I need proof. Because until there is proof, I will say that these are false accusations. 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 Accusations.
But guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I hope you guys did learn something in this video. If you did, remember to feel free to leave a like on it and also comment down below what you thought about the video. Remember, this video did take me over 48 hours to plan and make and animate together, so it would mean a lot to me if you could leave a like. Guys, remember, if you're not already, please feel free to click that subscribe button with those notifications so you get a notification on your phone, tablet, and even laptop every time that I upload a brand new video to the channel, which is every single day at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Guys, once again, make sure you do those great things you guys do on a daily basis, such as liking, commenting, favoriting, subscribing, sharing the videos, turning on those post notifications, all those great things you guys do every single day. Guys, remember to follow me on Twitter at SirSloth with two H's and no spaces. And remember, if you do want to talk about this or you want to go over anything that I got wrong or anything, feel free to follow me on Twitter and shoot me a DM. Guys, remember the beanie and the crooked glasses stay on during sex, but that's how we have to wrap up the video. I hope you guys did enjoy once again, and I will be sure to see you in my next video tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Peace.